Hi friends, in this video we'll go through how to install the Puppet server on a VM running Rocky Linux 8.5 using a Vagrant box. Puppet is a configuration management tool for which I've al already created a few videos. Same goes for Vagrant if you're new to Vagrant, then watch my previous videos first to cover your basics. I've also covered Bash in many videos which could help you a lot when working with Linux. For this video I'm assuming that you already have a hypervisor like VirtualBox or Hyper-V installed. Otherwise watch my video about Vagrant with Hyper-V in Windows 11. Because CentOS 8 is end of life and CentOS 7 will be end of life by 2024, you can use Rocky Linux to have a stable and maintained Red Hat Enterprise Linux OS without subscription. But for a production environment, you should best use Red Hat. On vagrantup.com, grab the init command for Rocky Linux, create a directory for your Rocky Linux VM, and paste the init command to create your vagrant file. Alternatively, you can copy the vagrant file content and paste it in a new text file under your new directory. Just make sure to remove any file extension. We'll change the vagrant file by just adding a host name and then enter vagrant up to spin up the VM. When the VM is up, enter vagrant ssh to open a secure shell session with the VM. We need to run all the commands as sudo, which is why it's best to just log in as root by entering sudo space su space dash. We'll be needing git as version control. If you're new to git, then watch my series on the subject. Using DNF package manager, install git. For information uh, about DNF, watch my video on the subject. Using the package manager RPM, we can enable the latest, latest Puppet repo, which is what we need to install the Puppet server package. Using the DNF package manager, install the Puppet server. This will also install the dependencies like the Puppet agent. Because we're just using this VM for testing a Puppet server, we don't need a lot of resources. Open the following config file and on line 9 change the 2 gigabyte memory allocation into 512 megabyte. I'm using Vim as code editor, which I've covered in previous videos, but you can also use Nano. Next we can start the service for Puppet Server. Check its status and enable it so that it starts by default using systemctl command. When working with Puppet, we use Puppet agents to check for changes and make sure the state of the machine is the same as we configured. We can do the same on the Puppet server itself by configuring the Puppet agent that, that was installed as a dependency. Open the following file and at the bottom add the following lines. For the server, we enter the host name as we add it to the Vagrant file at the start of the video, which we can also look up using echo and the environment variable for host name. You can also see it in the hosts file under Etsy. We're also going to need Ruby and Gem, but instead of installing them, we're going to use the versions that were installed with the Puppet server. By editing our dot bash underscore profile, we can simply add a new line to our path which points to Puppet. Add this to the top and reboot the VM. Give the VM a few seconds to power up and then use SSH to connect to it. We can then see that Ruby and Gem are both accessible. 
using Gem, we can now install R10K. R10K is a code management tool which we're going to use in combination with GitHub and Git to manage our Puppet code. We can then run a quick test by entering Puppet space agent with dash T flag. This will call the Puppet agent to retrieve a catalog from the Puppet master and apply it locally and immediately. Note that the dash T flag is badly named. Even though it stands for test, it will make changes to your machine. After this, you can connect the GitHub repo to your Puppet server, which I've covered in another video. Hope you enjoyed this video about installing the Puppet server on a rocky Linux Vagrant box. And I'll see you in the next video.